We are just about finished with our lessons before you make your game. So I want you to explore the sprites in Sprite Lab. So a sprite is a character. So let's take a look at lesson 24. So it starts out with a video. So go ahead and pause, watch the video, and then come on back. All right, so that showed you a little bit about what we're going to do with the sprites. Now let's look at lesson 24, number two. So first off, make a prediction. What do you think will happen when you run this code? So I'm going to guess that the hay ball will appear in the bottom right of the screen because I see this 399. And if you click on the little icon here, it usually tells you where that is. Um, and then it's probably going to start moving like it looks like it's tumbling since they have this tumbling. But let's run and see what happens. So it rolls to the left. I have to remember tumbling when I use my sprite commands. All right, I'm going to finish and let's move on. Lesson 24, Swimming Fish in Sprite Lab, Part 3. So it says, let's make a fish tank. Change the tumbleweed sprite into any kind of fish by clicking the down arrow. Be sure to also update the sprite's costume in Sprite and Begin. And it says this icon means this level is part of a larger project. Changes will be saved across these levels. OK. So why don't you give it a try? You change the sprite to a fish and change its action to something else. Well, I misspoke. It says be sure to change a sprite's costume. So um, I'm going to do a drop down here. So I'm going to choose a turquoise fish. And it says be sure to update the sprite's costume. So if I click run, it's going to say it, this is going to appear. But this command down here is going to try to make this sprite spin right, not my fish. So I have to change my costume here to that fish. And um, I'm not going to change this right now because I think that's in the next part. So when I click run, the <laughs> fish is spinning. All right, let's take a look at lesson 24, part four. So now that we have picked our sprite, uh, the fish is getting dizzy. Change the fish's behavior so that it swims left and right. And it says use this block right here to leave yourself or your teacher notes about your code and how it works. And that's called a comment. All right, so I have a make new turquoise fish. You can choose whatever you want. Uh, my sprite it matches. And this says begins spinning right. So we can say swim left and right. So I'm going to take this block off and put that one in, kind of like the other code that we use. And I'm going to try pressing run. So it has code already set up in it for it to bounce off the walls, it looks like. <clears throat> Lesson 24, part five. Our fish tank needs some water. Use set background color to make the background any color. We recommend blue. So go ahead and give that a try and come back and see how I do it. OK, so to change my background color, I'm going to put that in the very beginning of my code. and. You could change it to any color you'd like. I'm going to go with light blue. Oh, that looked hard to see my fish. So I guess I'll stick with their original blue. What did you do? So there's my fish swimming in the blue water. OK, let's go on. Lesson 24, part six, how to make a sprite. So go ahead and watch this video, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, let's make some sprites. So we're going in lesson 24, part seven. This fish is adventurous and wants to meet new creatures in the sea. Add another sprite to the fish tank. This sprite can have any costume other than the one you use for your fish. So do you remember how to do this? I'm gonna go into sprites and I'm gonna click make new and drag that over. And I wanna choose a different color. So I'm gonna choose pink. So I've got a pink and turquoise. You can choose any color you want. Automatically, it says this is going to start up at that location. And um, if I click on the yellow block, then I can move my fish around just by moving my mouse around. So I'm going to have this fish 
start sort of near the center. Okay, so this just says add another sprite and um, that's it. Lesson 24, Swimming Fish in Sprite Lab, Part 8. What do you want your fish's new friend to do? Add a behavior. Go ahead and add a behavior of your choice. You click on the behaviors, Sprite. Make sure you match the costumes and then begins. You go to behaviors again. You can say spin right or swim left and right. I'm going to have them both swimming, but you can make yours do whatever you'd like. So I'm going to press run. Okay, lesson 24, part 9. We've added a lot of new blocks to the toolbox. Play with them to make your fish tank special. So go ahead and have fun with this. I hope you enjoyed learning how to create a new sprite. Okay, you probably noticed that um, if you click run and if you made a mistake like me and you didn't have your sprite costumes match, then it doesn't do anything. So make sure you check if you try to run it and it's not doing what you wanted that your sprite costume matches. And what's also cool is there's a lot of behaviors that you could choose. There's growing and jittering, moving east, all kinds of behaviors. I tried wandering, but you can try anything you want. So hopefully you have fun and good luck.